Hello? 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 <laughs> yes, the time has come for another real, real physics problem. And I got this idea when I read the newspapers uh, a few weeks ago that there are plans to make a straight tunnel all the way through the earth from Oslo to Honolulu. <laughs> well, a crazy idea which calls for a crazy shirt, I think. If we look at the, the globe, then here, this finger is where Oslo is, and with this finger is where Honolulu is. So, so when I look at the uh, at the globe, so the tunnel has to cross the uh, Atlantic Ocean, Greenland, United States, maybe Canada, and then even the Pacific Ocean. So. How on earth would they do that? Well, let's face it, that's an engineering problem. That's not our concern right now. But the idea is that it's a straight tunnel. A straight tunnel just like this. Maybe like this, or maybe like this, or maybe like this, depending upon how you view the earth. It's open at one side and open at the other so that vehicles can enter with people in it and then they can go through the tunnel from Oslo to Honolulu and of course also from Honolulu from Honolulu to, to Oslo. Of course in reality the tunnel will be a little bigger than this one Longer and, of course, big enough so that vehicles can go in there. All right. If you enter this tunnel at Oslo, you stand still and then someone may push you into the tunnel and so you fall into the tunnel. <coughs> so in the problem that I'm going to present you, because this, thought, this was an idea of me, of mine to get you some, doing some real physics, we will assume that the tunnel has absolutely no friction, zero friction. We will also assume that the Earth is a perfect sphere. And we will assume that the density of the Earth is the same everywhere. We will also ignore Earth rotation. So keep that in mind. Okay? So, you step in your vehicle in Oslo, you stand still, and someone just gives you a slight push and you will fall into the tunnel. And clearly, when you come out of that tunnel at Honolulu, your speed will have to be again zero because of the conservation of energy. If we ignore Earth rotation, if we assume that the Earth is a perfect sphere, then at Oslo, the potential energy of you in your vehicle is exactly the same as it is in Honolulu because you're also at the surface of the Earth. Therefore, since the sum of the potential energy and kinetic energy is conserved, the kinetic energy at Oslo must be the same as that in Honolulu. It was zero at Oslo, so it has to be zero at Honolulu. So as you fall into the tunnel, 
you will go faster and faster and faster and then of course there comes a period that you will have to go slower and slower and slower so that you stop at Honolulu. My question now for you is how long does it take you to slide because you will be sliding in the tunnel with zero friction your vehicle needs no wheels how long will it take you to travel from Oslo where you start with zero speed to Honolulu where you start where you end with zero speed And I repeat what is key, the tunnel is frictionless, no air drag, we ignore air drag, we also ignore rotation of the earth, and we assume that the earth is a perfect sphere with the density everywhere the same. To allow me in an easy way to see whether your answer is correct, I'm really not interested in 25-digit precision. I therefore want you to use rounded-off numbers. The radius of the Earth, if we assume it's a perfect sphere, is a bit smaller than 6,400 kilometers. I will propose to you that we all use 6.4 times 10 to the third kilometers. And so I will also make proposals, I really want you to, to use this, to use these numbers. I also will propose some other quantities that you may want to use. I'm not saying you have to use them all, that's up to you to decide. But if you use them, Use my rounded off numbers. If you need more information than I'm going to show you, feel free to get that on the web. But if you use any of the numbers that I'm going to show you, please use my rounded off numbers. Okay? You ready? Well, we're getting there. Adjust it a little. Okay. You should be able to see the numbers now quite well. So here, you see the radius of the Earth. This plus sign means that it is Earth. 6.4 times 10 to the third kilometers. Keep in mind that kilometers is not an SI unit. The gravitational constant I give to you in SI units, 6.7 times 10 to the minus 11. The mass of the Earth, 6.0 times 10 to the 24 kilograms. Pi, if you need it, you may not need pi, but that's up to you. If you use pi, use 3.14. The location on Earth of Oslo, it has a latitude of 60 degrees north and a longitude of 11 degrees east. And the location of Honolulu, it has a latitude of 21 degrees north and 158 degrees west. So now look at my picture here. This is a cross section through the Earth, and the cross section is made. Oh, the cross section is made through three points, which you can always do: Oslo. Honolulu and the center of the Earth. So this is the center of the Earth. 
So this, from the center to Oslo, is the radius of the Earth, and from the center to Honolulu is also the radius of the Earth. So, you enter here with zero speed, you increase your speed, and when you come out here, you have again zero speed. Please do not ask me, is my solution correct or is my solution wrong? If your arguments, your reasoning, your math, and your final answer for how long it takes, you can express that in terms of seconds or in terms of minutes, if you prefer that. If that's all correct, you can almost be certain that I will not post it. If it is blatantly incorrect, I probably will post it. However, in either case, whether it is perfectly correct or whether it is not at all correct, I always have the option to change my mind. Sometimes I may even publish a perfect solution. And sometimes I may not publish, post, a very bad solution or wrong solution. Could be a variety of reasons for me. It's not important to discuss those now. But chances are, if your solution is not posted, chances are high that it was correct, but not 100% certain. So, work this out. It's pure physics, really pure physics. I will post my solutions uh, probably within six plus or minus one days. How about that? Okay, yes, of course, even after this problem, we will still be friends. Have a nice day and take care.